I can't believe I'm saying this, but the new best plane in the game. Rockstar has added in a supersonic fighter jet. We are going to buy one right now. We'll stop cash and carry. And here it is, the F-160 Raiju. Probably saying that name incorrect. But yeah, I don't know why. The shape of it kind of reminds me of Crash Bandicoot. Hold on, $6.8 million. This may just be the most expensive plane I've bought. Oh, they've got a weaponized Canada as well. In the pictures of the plane, you can see the jet engine facing down, which must mean there's like a hover mode or something. $6.8 million without no upgrades. Let's buy it now. There we go, delivery notification. I am now $7 million poorer. I'll come over there and shove that phone up your... What'd my assistant just say to me? Oh yeah, and seeing as this is the new fastest plane in the game, I'm gonna change from my cop outfit into my alien outfit, cause who knows, we might end up in space. Yo, let's go pick up our new plane, but first you should probably do what my sign says. Hanger, I am here. Hopefully you have the capacity for our new plane. Woo hoo hoo. Yo, this thing's kind of like a skateboard sometimes. I've actually forgotten what's in here, so let's take a look sees. So behind me, we have the Cookie Monster. Look, I did not come up with that name. One of you did, so that's its name now. Looking at my hangar, as you can see, I own a bunch of different planes, a bunch of different helicopters. However, nothing is quite like the jet we just bought. G'day, captain, boss. what are you calling me this for? Is your Shut up. You ain't my captain. I'm my own captain. Yeah, see, I have the regular Canada here. We'll definitely buy the weaponized version and do a separate video with that. The only other fighter jet that I have in my hangar is this right here, the Strike Force. But I mean, does it have a jet engine this big? Definitely not. Seven million dollars with no upgrades. Let's see what damage we can do. Uh, do I add armor? I've heard that armor slows you down, so I don't know if I want to do that, but uh, it's a fighter jet, so I guess we're going to have to. That's 50 grand gone already. For the engine, we need the level four upgrade. For the handling, of course, we need the race handling. Okay, and that's literally every upgrade. We need a livery as well, though. Let's see which ones they got. Any that catch my eye? Um, damn, we can get an anime jet. Bubblegum waifu. That is a pretty nice color for a jet, I'm not gonna lie. Then you got the wasabi waifu as well. Got like the green and blue vibe. 23K, let's buy that. Look, you guys named our last plane the Cookie Monster. What can we call this plane here? Oh, it does have a hover mode. Press H to enable stealth mode. All weapons are unavailable in stealth mode. God damn, look how foggy it is right now. How am I meant to see anything? And wait, how do I get out of hover mode? This reminds me of the Hydra in GTA San Andreas. Um, there's a cargo plane coming towards me. Thank you very much. Right, I haven't even flown my plane and it got destroyed. Who's this guy now? Is there modders in my lobby? Hold G to toggle VTOL mode. Oh boy. Ooh, this thing is aerodynamic. So for the weapons, we have missiles and explosive machine gun. Explosive machine gun. Let me see how explosive that is without killing myself. Uh, about the new plane we just bought, I may have just crashed. Now to put into perspective how fast this jet goes, let's come here near the buildings, go straight up. We'll put the camera facing down, line up a little bit. You seen how quick we went above the clouds? Flying upside down is kind of trippy, but because I'm the best pilot in the world, I will never crash. This is kind of spooky. Oh, we're at the beach. I can't even tell where we are. Problem is when you're flying upside down like this, sometimes it takes a while for stuff to load in. That's a building. Is this a guy in a heli here? Hello, Mr. Heli. Oh, he had the golden heli. I have that one too. It was a waste of $5 million, to be honest. Some vehicles in GTA, you just have to buy them to say you own them. I pretty much bought this jet for the stealth mode and because it's the new fastest plane in the game. We've got an oppressor down here somewhere. Let me just, oh my God. My engine keeps cutting out because I hit that building. No, that's the wrong place to cut out. Jesus, that was close. We should not be alive right now. There's a guy below me with his oppressor. I can see him actually. Presses are very annoying to uh, chase after. He's trying to lock onto me now. Come then, bro. Your oppressor can't do this though, can it? <laughs> when I catch you, bro, you're going to be in trouble now. You've annoyed me. I love it when oppressors are chasing you and they just can't fly to where you're flying. Where's he gone? Has he gone off the radar? Whoa, what's my jet doing? What? What just happened? Okay, got to be a modder, right? Just exploded out of nowhere. We found a new session and there's a bunch of people here. This guy has his Alkanost out. What are you doing, bro? You can't fit in there. Do you need some help, man? I think I need to ram him out. Let me use my boost to help him. Oh, he ain't even budging. I don't understand what he's stuck on. Hey, man, I'm trying to help you. He's shooting it with an MG. Don't explode it whilst I'm here, man. I kind of want to ram full blast into it. Let's see what happens. He's back inside. Oh no, the jets are gonna burn me. I'm gonna do what I can, man. I can barely drive myself now. Let me try hit his wing this time. I can actually, oh, I can't boost anymore. Let's see if the ray gun will help. Uh, oh wait, I think we pushed him back a little bit. It's working. The cops are here now. Really? 
Hold up, I've got another solution. I have to go to the front of the airport though. Look at my scramjet, bro. <laughs> Cop nearly just landed on my head. Drop a grenade here. There we go. Lester, it would be very helpful if you could pick up the phone right now. How am I outrunning this many cops, bro? It's coming at you. It's coming at you. It better be. I'm being followed by a man. I did not give him permission to get in, but he got in anyway. Okay, is he still there? He's probably exploded it by now, right? Um, yep, the hangar looks empty now. Open up the back, doggy. He's reversing onto me. No, you really gonna do that, bro? Get out of here. <laughs> he's coming towards me. I don't think he's happy. Wait, can I hit him on the way up? Easy, easy, easy. Oh, we hit the tail. That didn't do nothing to him though. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, let's go. Oh, that would be legendary if we could like land on a moving plane. I'm back at my hangar to pick up my Raiju. Hey, what the hell is going on with the lobby? Am I the only one here now? I mean, definitely not. There's someone in front of me. Yeah, buddy, you need to upgrade. It's that new thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I have a missile aiming at your head right now. Wait, I'm lifting him. Let's go. Who needs VTOL mode? Let's see if I can actually flip him. That'd be funny. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, I'm going to flip myself here. Wait, if I do that and then go into VTOL mode? Come on, come on. Oh, okay, he exploded. My jet's on fire now. Ah, full speed in VTOL mode with my wings down. Not my wings, my wheels. They're not down, they're up. The turning on this jet is something else, bro. It can literally turn instantly. It kind of reminds me of our Cookie Monster. That plane has crazy turning as well. Yeah, first person this jet is mean. Where you at, bro? Can't see you. Here he is. Ah, he's aiming at me. Who said you need to fly in third person? It's actually surprisingly easier in first. Like if you're aiming at someone, that is, I guess. Oh, we got an oppressor below. I wouldn't have been able to spot him, but he gave himself away. So with our Cookie Monster plane, the Alkanost, it has a feature where if you go above the clouds, it gives you a stealth mode. However, the Raiju, if you click H anywhere, it just goes into stealth mode. And as you can see, we're off the minimap now. You can actually have a lot of fun with this because no one knows I'm here right now. And then I could turn stealth mode off and then our weapons come right back as well. Yeah, if you could use your weapons in stealth mode, that would be way too OP. It'd kind of be just like an invisible modder killing you. Let me turn stealth mode back on again. So now we are completely hidden and no one can see us. There's a guy down this road. <gasps> Jesus! There's someone over here who has no idea I'm here. Sky Z has the briefcase. Take it from them. Well, I'm waiting for him to come out of here, but he seems to be hiding right now. But I'm going to have to go into stealth mode, go directly up, go out of stealth mode, come straight down, and rain fire from above. Maybe a missile hits him, maybe it don't. Jesus! Okay, you saw that, right? I think he's hiding in the middle somewhere. First person spray time. Where is he at? Okay, I can see him now. Come on. What are you done for, my boy? Ah! Stealth mode back on. Turn it back off. You know what I need? I need missiles. Yeah, you done for now. No! Did that at least explode him? No, he's still alive. All right, well, you're done now. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on. Everybody is fighting over the briefcase right now. Hello, my boy. You know you made me crash, right? <laughs> he's trying to hit me. Ah! That's a building. Catch my pipe bomb, buddy. Ah! I got 5k for that. I didn't get the briefcase, but hey. How's this man's vehicle still alive? Like... I could see another Raiju there. Does he see me? He definitely sees me now. Ah! I've just found out there's multiple ways you could take off with this plane. We got another one right here. Yeah, these planes look mean. So the first one is kind of like a vertical takeoff. So you hover, instantly go into VTOL mode whilst leaning back. And it's kind of like a vertical takeoff. Let me land and show you the next one. We got three Raijus at the airport right now. Yeah! I love the hover mode though. This could be catastrophic right here. Okay, VTOL mode. I think they want to fly. Let's go, boys. Oh, they're taking off now. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's like I'm playing a military simulator. Okay, let me show you the next way you could take off. I got to come like halfway down the runway for this one. So for this one, we have to get a bit of speed going backwards. Toggle into hover mode, turn, and then go back into VTOL mode. Except I didn't do it properly. Here we go, attempt number two. Yeah, there we go. That was better. Almost. We got enough speed now. Come on. Back into VTOL mode. Yes. Okay, that was kind of it. Kind of. You could do it a lot faster with a bit of practice. But yeah, let me show you the next way you can take off now. This one is probably the most difficult to do, but you have to get a lot of speed going backwards. And then you have to flick, aim back, and boom, it's like a backwards takeoff, except that didn't work perfectly. Flick really fast. Oh God, I'm giving myself a haircut. <gasps> no, I don't want to shoot. Bro, this plane can flip itself as well. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. The backflip takeoff is kind of hard to do. 
Yeah, that was that was a lot better actually. Ah, I'm giving myself a haircut again. Lip yourself again. Oh my god, this what can't this jet do at this point? Subscribe, watch another video, and I'll catch you next time.